I'm going to start off by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. All right, Barakatha means bless you in the Hebrew. And Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father, who the world England calls God. And uh, our great king's accurate name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah, <laughs> who the world England calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Ray Millstone, who worthy their double honors. A salutation to you, sincere Akim. Pushing his true cross of four ways. I'm going to do the sit down about uh, girding thy loins up like a man and doing your Howard's bidding and getting ready to go through this uh, end of time calamities we have to go through. Um, the Most High is tightening the noose on the neck with his men. Uh, he's perfecting his men. And um, it's no time for weakness, man. All of these uh, vices and weaknesses we have. The Most High is perfecting us. He's making us stronger, man, where well, we've been weak, man, to go through what we have to go through. When um, he let, when, he, when the Heavenly Father sick Satan on Job, he, he let Satan get on Job because he knew what he put inside Job. He knew Job can handle it. But he had, he, it was times where he had to uh, tell Job to gird up his loins like a man. Come on and get, get with the program. And that's where we at right now, man. Uh, it's no time for weakness, man. It's just time to, uh, put on your, your your weapons of war, helm of salvation, sword of the spirit, birthplace of righteousness, sandals shining with the gospel of peace, man, and get ready to um, endure hardness as a good savior because Satan goes about as a roaring lion seeking who, who he can devour. And he's throwing fiery darts at the men of the Lord, man. And you got to be ready to go through it, man. And these scriptures is our comfort, man. It's our weapons of war, man. And we have to be... Uh, Battle tested for what's to come. All right, and doing hardness as a good soldier, man. The Most High is liking his service to soldiers, man. So, uh, let's start off in the Book of Colossians. This is Colossians chapter three. All right, I'm gonna start at verse three. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with the anointed. In Yahweh. For when Yahweh shall, who is our life, shall appear, then ye shall also appear with him in glory, being that we are joint heirs, Lord willing, we are the elect. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. When they say mortify your members, man, all of these weaknesses we have, all of the phobias and things that uh, we have not conquered, all right? The Most High, our great king, said we are more than conquerors, man. It's nothing we can't do in his name, man. We can do all things through Yahweh Shah who strengthened us. And right now is the time. <coughs> right now is the time. Fornication, uncleanness, in, inordinate affection, evil conspicuousness, and covetous, which is idolatry. All these uh, things of the flesh, we have to put them aside, man, and mortify them, kill them, all right, and give occasion to the spirit, man. Let the spirit consume us, man. And the way the spirit is consume, consumes you is when you seek your Habashim out shot early. All right? And come sup with him. And ask him to put the eye salve on your eyes that you may see. All right? And clothe thee with um, white garments of righteousness. For which things sake the wrath of Yahweh coming on the children in disobedience. And the wrath of Yahweh is not where he's going to judge the, the sons of the that's why we should know when you know these things are coming, you should know what manner of people of man you ought to be. Salaki, so like I don't know what's going on here. Salaki. So like All right. Get another precept, man. Uh, going the right way. This is second Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. And it reads. All right. Let, let go from the mortal thoughts. And it's things of this world, man. Being lost with things of this world, man. Football, basketball, bitches, running behind women, uh, your job, and all of these corner things. Let that shit go. Cast away the burdens of man, with your bills, child support. All right? Things that, that, that um, people of this world think of, man. Put these things aside. And put off now the weak nature, things that uh, you haven't conquered, man. Your temper, all right? That's one thing. Your flesh, 
that's another thing. Uh, things that have us in derision, man. All right? The first thing you have to learn to conquer this flesh, man. All right? Put off the weak nature. I mean, you, you have to be circumspect, man. Redeeming the time because the times are evil, man. All right? The Most High is not dealing with, 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 with weak men. All right? He, he's giving us his scriptures. He said we can do all things. He's our strength. And set aside the thoughts of the most heavy to thee and haste to flee from these times. All right? So all of these all these times that's about to come, all right, you have to have strength. You have to have faith, all right? You have to believe that our great king will comfort us and, 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 and keep us when shit hits the fan. And you can't, have, you can't have doubt. You can't have weakness in your being, man, because the most high don't deal with that, all right? It's an abomination to him, all right? Let me find another piece up uh, Matthew 11. Where, where that scripture at? All right, this is our great king speaker. All right, he's our comforter. He's our strength. This is Matthew 11 and 28. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy labor, and I will give you rest. And he's talking to his servants, the prophets, man. All right, and we are heavy laden in this bitch, man. Number of abominations going on around about us. And when we come to do Yahweh by Shema man, Yahweh by will, all right, we're attacked by vipers and scorpions, man. All right. But this is what our great king say Take my yoke on me and learn of me, for I am meek, lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. All right. So we have to depend on our great king. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. All right, our great king is going to deliver us. He's going to uh, unlock us out of these chains of darkness. All right? So in the way you mortify your members, in the way you put out things that, that are most vexing to you, you, you put it up on him. All right? You give it to him. You give it to our great king. And he was he's going to give us rest. He's going to give us faith. He's going to give us strength. He's going to refresh us, We're, uh, renew our strength so we can mount up like the eagles and run and not get weary. All right? This is These are the things we're supposed to be doing right now. All right? We're supposed to be locked in into these inner times and, uh, and just rocking out in the spirit, man. Rocking out in the spirit, having faith in your heart by Shema was shot. All right? Getting built up, swallowing down all your soul, knowledge, and wisdom so you can be delivered from the, count, the times to come. All right? Looking for 2 Peter, Salakia. This is 2 Peter 3 and 11. And it reads. All right, I'm going to start at verse, three, verse 10. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night. All right? The day of the Lord is death. All right? It's darkness, not day. It's just death, dread. All right? In which the heavens shall pass away with great with a great noise. The missile's going to be falling, uh, falling everywhere. You're going to have pestilence everywhere. All right? And the elements shall melt, melt away with fervent heat. The earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up, the fashion of this life. That's why I have a father say, mortify your thoughts. Don't worry, worry about the things of this life. Because the works they end shall be burnt up. All right, a, a, a paradigm shift is going to happen. It's going to be a, a, a new rulership. Uh, the laws of Yahweh by Shema are going to govern this govern this place. All right, the ways of the the kingdom of heaven is going to uh, the new Jerusalem going to come down out of heaven, and it's going to be a new way of life, man. Just happiness. All right. Verse eleven, seeing that. All these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought you shall be in holiness, conversation, and godliness? We supposed to be girding up our loins, man. Looking for the hastening to the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Who is in heaven? The so-called white man. The Most High is about to dissolve that bitch, and the elements shall melt from vervin heat. All right. So you, you knowing all these things, what manner of persons you ought to be? You ought to be 
uh, seeking your high about Shema was shot early. Seeking on why he may be found. All right, staying yoked to the brotherhood. All right, wearing out the store, wearing out the doorstep of the men that have this knowledge. This is what we should be doing, man. Fasting, praying. All right, sharpen your your blade, your blade. Let me get that. Asking the heavenly Father to make you a sharp threshing instrument, man. This is uh, Isaiah forty-one. This is seven. Oh, where is this? No, it might be fifteen. This is it right here. This is what you're supposed to be doing, sharpening your blade, man. Isaiah 41 and 15. Behold, I will make thee a, a new sharp and threshing instrument with teeth. All right? This is what you're supposed to be doing, making, uh, doing what it takes to get sharp. Being your how about your sharp, sharp threshing instrument with teeth. And thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and thou shalt make the hills as chafe. And that's talking about the nations. The peoples of the earth, anything thrown at you, you're going to be able to beat them down to power, man. That's what you're supposed to be doing right now, all right? Sharpening your sword, man. Getting ready for war, man. And doing hardness as a, a good soldier, man, all right? Not tripping on these corner things, man. Not letting your spirit get vexed and down low behind uh, folly, Okay? I'm going to leave out this precept. I have my father chose, uh, charged Job to do. This is Job 38 verse 3. And it reads, all right, let's start at the top. Then Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, who is that that darkened the counsel by words without knowledge? All right, we supposed to be choosing our words carefully. That's what we just read over there in Peter. All right, what what manner should you be of holy conversation? All right? The heavenly father told him, gird up thy loins like a man, for I would demand thee and answer thou me. All right, he's going to do the same thing to us. He's going to demand an answer from us. He's going to look at our actions and see what we, are we are worthy to be delivered? Are we worthy to do his bidding? Is he worthy to feed us due to, during the famine? Is he worthy to give us drink during the drought? Okay? And the ones he's going to do, do, do these things for are those that sought him out, those that girded up their loins like a man and, and, and came into the, um, the house of faith and believed on him and applied action to their faith. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the pastors of Great Millstone, and salutation to you, sincere, I can push this truth across the four winds. Kwame Asherala, Baba Baba.